from ClarkWoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 54. I am Chris. He is Steve. I'm Steve. You're Steve. And it's Jizza Night at my parents' house. It's Jizza Night. I mean, pizza. Pizza. There was this uh, Pizza Hut in Nashville, New Hampshire. Mm. I think it's still there, but like back in the day, the P had fallen off, I think. Uh huh. And it just said, Is a. Is a. Is a hut. Is a. <laughs> is we, a we wanted to put the P back up and put it on upside down so it kind of looked like a J. A J, like yeah. Jizza Hut. Jizza, Jizza, Jizza the Hut. I want to try an experiment with the show today. You know? Jizza the Hut would be Jabba's son? Daughter? Wife? No, no. Well, uh, he, well, I don't know if it's a wife or... There's God, Gardola the Hut, right? If we're admitting that the prequels happened, which what? which we are. Uh, if we're admitting that the prequels happened, there's there's Gardola the Hut. She was the one that sold or lost Anakin and his mom in betting on the pod races. And then there's Jabba. Uh, I don't know of any others, but, but if there was a Jizza the Hut, if there was a Jizza the Hut, is that a daughter? Is that a son? Is that uh, I don't know. Maybe great we, auntie. We, maybe we don't need to put gender roles on this person. Oh, all right. No, so I'm they're trying an experiment. You're here. trying an experiment. See how much I can annoy our listeners. See how much you can annoy our listeners. This is me. <laughs> this is me eating an apple. On the show, <laughs> that is you eating an apple on the show, <laughs> and and we should we should note. I don't know if we should note, but we will note that for the first time in a long time, we are recording at, at my place, at your place, uh, which is why you were able to get up, get an apple, get back to uh, to your mic without much effort, without any uh, loud o- door opening yanking. of doors. Yeah, yeah, and and there's no small children running around in the background. Which I know that's the best part. You know, I. If I had more time or more audio production savvy, I would probably work harder to get the kids out of the background of the episodes we've recorded at my house. Oh, that's fine. That's funny. But I have not had much uh, enough time, and I don't have enough audio prowess. So Jizz of the Hut, not male, not female, just just a fun place to uh, to eat pizza and, well, the one and whack one. off. Was there stuff on the seats that, that made you... Like, was there anything that made... Other than teenage sense of humor that made you want to rechristen I mean, the same it. sense of humor I have now in my 30s. <laughs> was, was there anything other than that that made you want to rechristen it uh, Jizza the Hut? Or Jizza Hut? No. No, no. My daughters... Uh, where were we today? No, yesterday we were at the Panera Bread in Drumhill. What? Chelmsford, Massachusetts. Get local for you. Um... You're gonna love and it for you. You're talking about this amazing apple. No, I mean you got to bring it in closer. Like, like you know, it's not coming in very. No, good. no, no. It's coming in, but but I want them to experience the full. All right, hold on. How was that? Oh, that was great. That was good. But but I almost want like the lip smacking the, the the what's the word I'm looking for? This is a really moist apple. <laughs> like the yeah, the moist lip smacking goodness of Steve. Eating that. Speaking apple. of moist, uh, we got a donation, didn't we? We did get a donation. We're not going to say who it's from, no. but uh, but <laughs> except that we might have just done that. Who cares? We didn't say a name. If you would, if you would like us to say your name, we well, first of all, thank you. Uh, and if you would like or us, thank to, you. I'm eating an apple in your honor. <laughs> And if you would like us to say your name uh, publicly on there, first names only, uh, then then please let us know. Um, I was no my 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 uh, my drink didn't come through at all there. You know what else is not coming through as much? Me chomping. You. So so are you familiar, Steve, with the with the term RTFM? What? RTFM. Explain are you familiar? it while I eat an apple. The, the term RTFM. If if you're not familiar out there in in Hotland, Hotlanda. Hot hmm. Hotland. Hotlanta. Yeah, out there in Hotlanta or any of the other amazing cities where hot is listened to on a regular basis. If, if, if you're no not familiar... Atlanta. <laughs> Do you have proof? I don't have proof. I don't have proof that there's not somebody listening in Hotlanta. Okay. If you're not familiar with what RTFM means, it means read the fucking manual. No. Oh. Read the fucking manual. That is what RTFM means. And, and as it happened, Steve, as I was packing up the equipment... To, to bring it here to your, your humble abode. Mm-hmm. 
I looked at the box that my microphone came in, and I noted on the box that the symbol for uh, unidirectional, which is what I want on my mic, I, I read that this, uh, I saw that the symbol was different than the symbol I had traditionally been turning to on the knob on my microphone. That's pretty crazy. And I said, that that can't be right. That can't be right. I, I read the manual, and, and as it turned out, I... I I didn't read it carefully enough. So this entire time since we've had the the blue snowball microphone, uh, no, sorry, not the the the, Mine's the Yeti the snowball. You, we've had the we've had the snowball all along. Uh, we, the Yeti, the Yeti came as a result of us um, spitting the snowball out of our mouth and into the uh, the womb of. This is what a, happens when I eat an apple. <laughs> you say things like that <laughs> of of. Uh, of a uh, white bear, a polar bear, and uh, the polar bear, uh, when when that that polar bear had the uh, the snowball spit. I don't mean to interrupt you. But what's into- your favorite kind of apple? <laughs> Um, I, it's, you know, so like the, it's, it's Granny Smith. Is that the green ones? Yeah, green apple. Right? So you've got a, you've got a green, Granny Smith, a green apple. Yep. Um, I'm torn between that and a Mac, a Macintosh. Macintosh is local. You know, you can I get am. those anywhere. Macintoshes are, 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 uh, are yummy. I like these ones cause they're, they're more tart. Yes. I, I like a combination of them. Like in an apple pie, not that I have that, that often, uh, certainly not in an August. It's one. sticking with me forever it's, to eat. It's, that's what she said. Um, read the fucking manual. So my my microphone is now on the right setting. Mm. Uh, it is not picking up you as much, and all is right in the world. And I'm gonna offer you one, but um, I only have one apple. You only have one apple. <laughs> I'm totally derailing this conversation. <laughs> all right, I'm throwing it out. Um, so I read the fucking manual, and the microphone is is in its proper position. Uh, it is the Yeti. It was the Yeti which came out of the polar bear to finish my story. After the polar bear was artificially inseminated by one of us, I'm not saying which, With an spitting a snowball into the polar bear. It was Steve. Shut up. No way. <laughs> um, my hands are sticky. Your hands... <laughs> He denies. He denies that he had anything to do with the snowball, and then tells us that his hands are sticky. Oh yeah, because like, I apparently have never have not washed them since we got that microphone. I think. I think you should maybe uh, wash your hands a little bit, get them a little moist. You gotta stop. Dry them off. Dry so them yeah, off. you read the manual. There's. I, I read the manual. Well, so what? What tricked me was that on the box, it, it presents the symbols that are on the back of my microphone in the same order as they are on the back of the microphone. Oh. But I hadn't looked at the box. I had looked at the manual. So I, maybe, maybe what it should be is read the fucking box, because the manual made me think that the second position was the one I wanted, when in fact the second position was omnidirectional. That is, uh, it's a, a three-input microphone. You were waiting for me to say something, weren't you? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, me so need I, input. I'm number Mr. Johnny Five. Mr. Johnny Five needs it. No, I was thinking of uh, Mr. Number Johnny Five. No, it, it, Howard, Howard, or Opie and Anthony, and the, one of those guys, one of those shock jockers. They they always Ooh. used to talk about the uh, the number of inputs that that uh, a a young lady was willing to uh, was willing to offer up, right? But like inputs the, were so were, like the mouth, the, the the vagina and anus. Is yes. What you're so to? so if you were a three input person, then you then. would you know, you'd be like carte blanche. Basically. Carte blanche. Yes. I mean, I, if, if I've got a hole, you could put your dick in it. Is what uh, you're maybe, that, maybe, maybe that maybe. kind of lady. I don't know because you know I don't. I never went fully down the rabbit hole of either of those shows. But I wonder if they ever found somebody who was kind of like into the ears or the nose. I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm sure that you could find something online right oh, now God, I, of someone fucking an ear. They would have I, to have like a really tiny penis, though, if you're going to fuck a nose or an ear. Yeah. yeah, or just if you were if you were sort of like, or rubbing. if you had one of those gauges that made your ear like right like crazy. That I I guarantee your, there's something like that gauge. out there. Fucking an ear gauge. I, I that has happened and see we can talk like this a little bit we, we're more dirty when we're at my place because <laughs> we don't have like your daughter like right outside right I outside wanted, i wanted to play with the light bright oh my god it did <laughs> now i was trying to play a game this morning i'm 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 back on my uh my civ 5 
kick because I it's approaching the end of summer. Most of the things I wanted to do this summer are either uh, done or wrapping up. Uh, it's almost time for school again, so so the Civ Five came out again, and I'm playing that. But my daughter Melody brings uh, me this game, and I, I don't even know the type of game it is. Um, similar, have you played uh, like Candy Crush? You know I, what those? I, the just yeah, like, I, it's I, like I, it, the it, One Piece game that I play. There's your freaking drink for right now at the beginning. <laughs> um, the One Piece game is like one of those types of games where it's you know where like it drops a it's like a puzzle and you have to get so many things. Well, no, in a no, row it's not or, a puzzle game, but like uh, the 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 Dragon Ball game that just came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that's like a puzzle game. Sort okay. Of. Is that the type of game? It was, it's, it was a puzzle game. I don't know what the, where you have to get so many things in a row by moving um, blocks around. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like uh, Puzzles and Dragons. Something like that. Or maybe, what was the other one? Uh, puzzle Quest or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. And I've never been good at them. My my wife is uh, likes playing them a lot. My, my mother likes playing them a lot. I've never been good at them, but... What, puzzle Melody, games? Uh, yeah, or that that particular type of puzzle game where it's about trying to figure out how to get you know three in a row. And meanwhile, I'm trying to stop the Huns from destroying America. What are the to Huns stop, doing in America? Try, trying to stop the Huns from destroying America, Steve. That's what I'm trying how to do. How did they get there? How did they get there? Well, we were playing on uh, on the continents map, and uh, on our particular continent, uh, I was playing America. Uh, Attila the Hun was up in the uh, in the northeast. And uh, down across the mountains from me was Pachacuti and the the Inca, and well, that uh, makes more sense because that's sort of like close, right? Um, but the Huns were, were trying to uh, the Huns were trying to invade, and I was trying to stop the Huns. I was trying to save our blessed country, and my daughter was distracting me with a Disney Descendants version of. Uh, th- th- this this kind of puzzle game. Are you familiar with the Descendants, the Dis- Disney movie, The Descendants? Have you seen this? No. It has been played and replayed and played again and played again and again. So you like it then, is what you're saying, because you play it so much and again. No, it was a movie. It was a movie that they put out, and now uh, there's a puzzle game that has to do with it. But the movie and its soundtrack have been omnipresent throughout my house for the last week. And it is about uh, the descendants of Disney villains being invited to attend a prep school with uh, all the descendants of. So all it's of like the, Tiny Toon Adventures, is what you're saying? Uh, only with the, the only Disney with, villains, only with preteens and uh, or teenagers and their their romances and and other stupidity. Um, it, it, the, a couple of the songs are catchy. A couple of the songs are catchy. Yeah, the, you know what's um, catchy? AIDS. <laughs> So she's trying it's to get catching me, on. She's trying to get me to play that game, but uh, I, I just want to, I just want to rule the world with American culture. Like that, that's my thing in Civ Five. Yeah, because Ameri- American culture is so fantastic. I have no desire to win a a. Uh, I was going to say annihilation um, victory, but no domination. I have no desire to dominate. None, none whatsoever. You are um, more of a submissive. Uh, uh, I, I often play with barbarians off in Civ Five because I'm annoyed by barbarians, and I almost never play with city states because I hate city states. I hate. All right, the, so the I don't know. Okay, that. like I understand barbarians because they're yeah. just like some guys that are just like out there. They randomly spawn so on the map. You, you yeah. basically don't like Native Americans, is what you're saying, and you don't want them in the world or your game. You think I could run for president of the Republican Party? <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, just to just to you know bring it bring it around back. I mean, okay. Do you want to talk about the debate then that happened I, last I, night? I didn't see it, but I would love to. I talk like we tried to like you know do like an evergreen show, but but <laughs> no. I mean, we, we. I mean, most of this has been evergreen so far. It's been evergreen a little bit. I mean, especially the apple part. The apple part. <laughs> Apple part. Everybody's gonna be like, <laughs> never have Steve eat an apple on the show again. That was fucking stupid and annoying. <laughs> oh, I'm like, wow. I have this really dumb idea. Let me just <laughs> run and get an apple. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna eat an apple on the show. Um, 
Yeah, no, we don't have to talk about the debate. I was just I, hungry, and I, I could have eaten the apple before you got here, but I was like, I'll annoy everybody involved. <laughs> the So here's the thing about the debates. I mean, the, I so didn't watch them, so. I didn't watch them either. But here's here's some things that I can say, right? So there were something, or were, are something like 14 people who have declared their, their candidacy in the Republican Party, yeah. right? But only 10 of them were allowed on the debate last night. Why weren't the other four? I don't know, but here's my theory that that Was Fox, it Rick Santorum? Please yeah, say it was Rick I don't, Santorum. I don't know. We, we should we should look it up. Um my theory is that that they're trying to turn it into some kind of a fucking reality show. Like it, w- without really saying that they're turning I'm it the president, you fired. <laughs> without really turning saying that they're turning it into a reality show. There were 14 of them, right? And only 10 made the cut. The ten most popular made the cut. Was there spinning to be, chairs? I I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they might have been spinning uh, upside down uh, with with all of them. With Sorry, the, I just the, burped into my glass, so you couldn't hear. <laughs> we it. missed the burp. Um, so I, that's the first part of it that 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 gets me is is that there's this definite feel of uh, of reality TV about the whole thing. The second thing is that, that Fox, and I, I, I can understand that it's Fox that's doing the Republican, uh, Republican debates. I get it, but, um, okay. Nothing, nothing much to say there, but it, it's fucking August. It is August of the year before the election. We, we haven't even gotten to the first, we, we're how many months away from the first primary? I don't know. When does the New Hampshire primary happen? I don't, you're not, well, you're not the, a New Hampshire resident. I'm not a New Hampshire anymore. resident anymore, so I don't know. I um, never got to vote in a New Hampshire primary. I got to vote in a couple? I don't know. Um, the Iowa caucus happens first, though, right? Yeah, it happens first, but I don't know. What's the difference between a caucus and a... And a did I just get really close there? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. No, you didn't get you didn't get that bad. Um, um, what's the difference between a caucus and a primary? I, I don't know. What's the difference between your caucus and my primary? <laughs> I'm sorry. That is not like that doesn't even resemble a joke. You're just saying cock ass or something. What's the difference between your cock ass and my primary? I don't know. What's my primary? I don't primary know. Is, there, is ass where, or mouth? I, I, you, well, you never go ass to mouth. Where's your joke? Where's my joke? It's, it's Where my, is it? Where are you doing? It's in my ass. Um, no. Uh, so I don't so know. What you're the saying difference. that your penis is your joke and you put it in your ass. <laughs> that would be a trick. I'm sure that my wife would appreciate it if my penis were long enough that I could get it around into my asshole. No. Oh. Length, length doesn't matter. That's yeah, what I've been told. Yeah, it's all about girth. That's what I've been told. And, and, not if, by, and if not, you don't have that, then you use not your by fingers my wife, or your mouth or whatever. Fingers or, yeah, but never ass to mouth. Never ass to mouth. That's, that's what I've heard. I've, I've, I've read that. So there's, never lick ass and then go to the mouth. Or never, never... Uh, Fuck somebody in the ass and then and put then, your dick in their mouth. Yes. And yeah. Well, you know, I imagine... See, this this probably started in porn mm-hmm. because it's, you know, sort of dirty. It's dirty. But, like, you know, the, the... I don't know. I don't... I think some of the industry is regulated. And, yeah, some of it. And I guess some of the times that, you know, the, the girls would have a, a little bit of a... A cleaning out of cleaning that area, out. Oh, area yes, yes. prior to that happening. I would and I, imagine. I'd imagine that would be a good idea, like yeah. to to kind of get the old enema out and yeah, get rid of the doo doo before that happens, so imagine. it doesn't happen during the shoot. And I, I, I mean, unless that's the intended purpose. If you're talking about a very specific kind of uh, doo doo, kind of well, of uh, kind of uh, of movie, you know, if the if the purpose is you know for her to for her to poop on the guy, uh, you know. As we've talked about, there are there are fetishes out there Gross. for everyone. Um, ear gauges and poo poo. <laughs> um, I got poo poo in my ear gauge. I got poo poo in my ear gauges. I got peanut butter in my ear gauge. Yeah, the um, no, I'm shit. saying ear gauge. Why don't I keep on saying, "Hey, ear gauge, how's it going?" Ear gauge. Ear gauge. Ear gauge. Ear gauge. Ear gauge. Um, the. Yeah, so I mean, those are my two complaints that 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 it was narrowed down to from fourteen candidates to ten candidates for the debate for seemingly no reason. I mean, if you can fit ten people up there, why can't you fit fourteen? Uh, and that why are we having a debate in August of twenty fifteen when the it's when really the election isn't even until it wasn't really even a debate. They just asked November. everybody like certain questions, and there was no like back and forth dialogue from what I understand. 
Yeah, I, I, from what I understand, nobody said much of particular. I saw a news story that said uh, that Donald Trump was mad that the woman that was asking questions was using words that he didn't know. And I'm not sure what these words were. I didn't bother to go deeper than that. Hmm. So, what what do you imagine would be one one of the words that that Donald Trump wouldn't know? Pleasant. Pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> people um, say you're not pleasant. <laughs> what do you say, think about that? <laughs> I don't know what does pleasant mean. What, what is pleasant? I don't know. I don't know. What, what, Never what, had to be that. It depends on your definition of pleasant, there, Miss uh, Miss Smarty Pants, uh, Smarty Ass Vocabulary Woman. There, I, I, <laughs> I'm letting you flounder this week. <laughs> hey, you're, you're doing a great job of that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I did not watch uh, the Republican debate. Um, I what I would have watched instead was the the final episode of the Daily Show. I did start watching that before I came over here. But you, have if I had gotten that. home a little bit earlier, I probably would have tried to watch a little bit before. Yeah, but yeah. I did watch the second to last episode. Second to last, I you know so far, and this is not to speak ill of the finale. I would say the sec was the second to last. Um, Louis C.K. or was that that was Louis? Louis yeah. Okay, um, Louis and. Um, uh, Dennis Leary was the night before. Okay. Um, I, I liked both of those. I watched both of those interviews, even though I didn't watch the whole show, a little bit more than I liked the what I've seen so far, far of the finale. And, and it, with the exception of um, the fact that basically he um, uh, brought on, as you would expect, a whole bunch. Uh, I won't spoil how he brought them on, but he brought on a whole bunch of past correspondents. Um, everyone from people who were minor on the show to to the the famous people you would expect to sort of like do a Carell camera. Like and... Carell and Colbert and... Colbert and um, uh, Who's another biggie? I know Olivia Munn stopped by. Um, I know she... Was I didn't know she, that she was on that show at all. Maybe yeah. that was in like the years that I never had watched. Uh, um, and then, uh, what's his name, who was on The Daily Show before Jon Stewart? Uh, oh, even, Craig Kilborn? Yeah, he he stopped by, or he had a had a segment. But anyway, so it was a lot of that, and and the fun the the fun of that, and the the jokiness of that, all led to an unscripted moment from Colbert where where Stewart cried, and and Aww. and and so it, like as a, as a whole moment, but it was like a twenty or thirty minute, or like a twenty minute moment. It, it was it was pretty good, but I really liked seeing him kind of just. Like I got nothing left to do talking to Louis and and Dennis the uh, the previous nights. I thought those were uh, those were good. Not to say don't watch the finale because I haven't seen the second half of it. So I it, I'm still gonna try to watch it. I mean I I, I mean I, the Daily Show was one of those things that I would watch if it was on. But mm-hmm. it, there you know there were, and it was I always enjoyed it every single time. But, but for some reason I never was like a daily watcher of the daily show. Yeah, no, I, I never watched it daily if if I saw some especially in the last couple of years, if I saw something come up on social media or whatever, I would I would definitely check it out. But um But like the one that I watched I the, could the, never stay up the, that late. Yeah. Uh, well I'm I'm a I'm a grandpa. Yeah. I've, I've always been referred to You're a grandpa. To, no. I've always <laughs> been referred to as grandpa like in college they would call me Gramps because I was slightly older because were, I'd yeah. taken years off. And gone back, and so uh, people like Brian and Leo would always call me Gramps because I was like three years older than them. Yeah, you know, it's how it goes. Yeah. Um, and you, you, you didn't watch it before we recorded tonight because uh, we had to record early tonight because you have something else going on tonight. Well, it's not like we're recording early. This is normally when we would record yeah. on a Friday, but right. Uh, I well. The, well, the reason oh, let's 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 go let's, let's you want to step let's, back let's let's step back for a second. The reason why we're here at my mm-hmm. place is because uh, on Monday yes I sprained my ankle. Did you spray? How, how the hell do you spray your ankle, Steve? You're you're a spry young guy. You're no you're nothing like the Gramps that they all call you. All right. Well, let's go back one more day. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Sunday, mm-hmm. I went to uh, my friend's wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike and Sarah, I won't mention last name. Sure. Uh, but they were having their wedding up in Maine. Mm-hmm. And so I attended it and it was fun. It, in fact, it was probably one of the best ceremonies I've ever s- sat and watched. Yeah, nice. Because it was, uh, I, I, I'm generalizing here, but it was sort of like at the end of Spaceballs. <laughs> When okay. he's like, do you? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Now kiss her. Basically, <laughs> it wasn't that quick, but right. like it was very, it was very brief, but it was also sweet. 
Yeah. But it was just the right amount of schmaltz yes. and just the right amount of, of, of like, just eh, pick it up a little yeah. bit. I think it should be it should be personal and sweet and short. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. I mean, that, it was it, it was perfect. We were, I, it couldn't have been more than 15 minutes. Mm. That's and so that's then good. we go inside for some uh, for, for some drinks and mm-hmm. some nonsense, and it was fun. Yeah, and I got to watch people eat lobster for the first time, and then Becky was very good with helping out the person across from us from eat, to to help him eat his first lobster, <laughs> and I was I was like at times interested, but also simultaneously grossed out. <laughs> oh God. Lo- watching somebody eat lobster is, is one of the most disgusting things I've ever done. Yeah. It's just yeah. like breaking it apart and putting shit in a bucket. I think know. it might be more disgusting than having tried to eat lobster. The one time I tried to eat it. See, I like, I'm, I've never been a fan of like yeah. lobster, like the, the, the way it tastes. Yeah, no. I'm so, not and, and I'm sorry, main listeners. Yeah. That I don't like the thing that I, <laughs> and I didn't, I, in fact, I had barbecued chicken. Yeah. Uh, but it was just, it was, it was just so like you're pulling shit out of the ass. A lot of work for not a lot of food, not a lot of meat, and for meat that doesn't taste very good. Well, you know, some people do like, and you're slathering it in butter, you know, probably to to make it taste any better. And I kept on singing Rock Lobster the entire time he was eating it. But then, like, I don't know, you're just pulling shit off, and then it's dripping everywhere. Oh god! And it's just, it's you know. I, I I was liking it to the fact that my brother's a vegan, and I don't know if it's a genetic thing or whatever, but, like, I have a little bit of that in me where, like, I don't like, I don't like hurting animals. Like, I like animals that taste good um, if I don't have to see them be slaughtered in order to have them taste good. Um, and seeing a lobster get eaten is is well, the thing one is, like, step it's even, to it's it, even crazier because like with lobsters like you buy them alive yeah and then well no you don't well you see them alive like right. they're oh they're alive let me oh that means they're fresh yeah and then you, you get like you go to the store and they have like that steamer thing or, right like, they, right they cook them real quick and oh. then and then basically they're cooked alive it's kind of yeah. crazy it's 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 inhumane but well, not a human. lot of things are inhumane. But they're not human. So. Here's here's a question that I, I was thinking about actually mm. at the wedding. So you've seen the movie Soil and Green, right? I have not. Okay, well you, you know. I the, mean, I know I know the punchline. You know the, the punchline. The basically, the, it's basically the last scene of the movie where he yeah. screams that the iconic line of Soil and Green is people. Right. So now, basically, what was happening in the movie is people were going into like suicide booths. Old mm-hmm. people were going. There and they'd be just like, oh, I'm no longer useful. I'll go and, and, and kill myself in this. It was a nice way, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. then when they when they were dead, they would turn them into food. Right. And that was the soil and green. Yeah. Which uh, is what everyone was everyone was eating. I don't or? know if everybody okay. was eating it. It's been a long time since yeah. since I've seen it. But if the people that were going into the suicide booths knew that they were going to be made into food, would they have done it? No, no, no. I'm not saying would they have done it. Hmm. But as a person that could be th- have things against eating animals or whatever, right? If the person or the animal, being the human, <laughs> right, gives consent for you to eat them, mm-hmm. is that okay? I mean, you'd have to ask. Uh, that immediately makes me think of uh, the Donner Party and or uh, that movie Alive, which is based on a true story. The the plane crash in the Andes, I think. Um, you never eat the Chinese person first because then you're hungry in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the joke. I should be taking notes. <laughs> I should be taking notes. That, that's how you make someone laugh. I should be taking class. Um, yeah, no. Uh, I don't know if that's okay. I don't know if that's okay. Um, I mean, I, I did pose the question to a vegan and I got mm-hmm. a non-answer, but it's fine. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, that's it's crazy hypothetical. Right. And, and it's, it's a, it's a silly morality question. Yeah. Well, not silly, but you know, but yeah, I mean, at a certain point, like after not eating meat, I imagine you don't even have any desire to have it anymore. Right. Even yeah. if it was like something that was somebody who was consenting. It's yeah. Like, Please. Eat I me. mean, like Mufasa is consenting in, in the Lion King to the antelope eating him. I mean, like, you know, he's, his body's going to become the grass, and the antelope eat the grass, and he's cool with that. That's the circle of life. Circle of life, baby. Um, but, 
Yeah. I don't know. I wonder how my brother feels about... Uh, Soylent Green? <laughs> about The Lion King. The Lion King is one of my favorite movies, but the whole Circle of Life thing... You know, I, I suppose you can make that as, well, the, the, thing is, like, as the argument for why we, why we eat animals. Well, like, I mean, you don't necessarily need to eat meat. You, well, you don't need meat. Yeah. You can easily get the nutrition you need from things that are not meat. Right. Uh, and I could actually imagine myself being a vegetarian. Mm-hmm. I don't think I could go vegan. Right. Because as much as a, the soy ice cream or whatever right. else or like, like margarine or things that replace butter and ice cream and, yeah, and milk and, and dairy milk. stuff that I, and cheese. Oh my God. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese like is the biggest one because yeah, like, I could not go without cheese. the fake cheese. I mean like they've, they've had breakthroughs lately, <laughs> but oh my God, it's just no, it does not compare to real cheese. I'm yeah. sorry. Breakthroughs. I want to pull cheese. on a cow's tit. <laughs> I want to get some of that shit out of there. Not shit. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get some shit out of there. That's a, that's another thing entirely. Yeah. Um, the he pulled on the tail. You think you could get it shit if you pulled on its tail? I don't know. No, no, no. Go try it. Ah, uh, <laughs> there's a state park in Carlisle. They have cows there. Is there. A, there is a state park. In Carlisle. It's funny, like that state park in Carlisle. And here's us getting local for you. Getting local for you. Go to the state park in Carlisle, Massachusetts. It also has an ice cream place. Yes, but it has like the dairy there as well, and it has uh, that ice cream place stinks though. Like not literally. Like, like literally smells stinks. bad because smells there's bad. cows there, yeah. and like you can sit and eat, eat your chocolate ice cream. Yeah, while uh, you could you could stare through this window and, and watch cows shit, shit. <laughs> like li- have, right in front of your face. <laughs> Oh, yeah. there's doo doo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this. yeah. No, I know. And and for some reason, my that's why you get your ice cream and you go outside. You go outside. Back yeah, the state but park. it doesn't smell that much better outside. You know, you go over to when you're not by the farm anymore, right, right, and like yeah. where a goat can't steal your ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Or or yeah, or or a goat. where were what were we talking? What about were we talking we about? Um, we were talking about lobster. Oh yeah, because of the wedding. Uh. <laughs> So you went to a wedding on yes, and so Sunday? Th- yeah, they had a, a, a cocktail hour, and so the, the drinks were uh, were gratis for um, mm-hmm. for a short period of time. Yeah. And so there was the revolving door. Yeah, of people going of up people there. people going and, up and just waiting in line again to get another one. Right. I may have been one of may those people. May have been one of those people. Because I did not drive to the wedding. <laughs> um, it, but, you know, so I was a little bit... To say a little bit hungover on Monday, yes, would be an understatement. Okay, and so I'm not liking where this is going. I had done my laundry over the weekend, mm-hmm. and it was in the back of my car. Okay. I went to work because I stayed up at Becky's. Okay, and then I came, I went to work, and then I went to the grocery store because I needed to pick up stuff because like I had nothing as nothing. far as food yeah. in the house. So I picked up some food, got it all in the car, and I'm like, I still had both of the my bas- both of those baskets. Yeah. Uh, full of laundry, and I, I needed to carry that in as well as my groceries. So what mm-hmm. I was doing was putting a bunch of the grocery bags on top of the laundry. Right. And when I was bringing in the second one, I uh, missed a step oh. walking in to... Steve. Oh, and no. I was just hung over and tired. I just wanted to get in and put my stuff away and just relax and lay down. Yeah. And I just missed a step, and I twisted my ankle, and I yeah. fell over. And the icing on the cake... Oh, or on the cookie <laughs> was that I my, love icing on a cookie. My gingerbread cookie was in one of the bags. Oh no! And it flew out, and the the clamshell burst open, and no. my cookie went everywhere. Oh, how do people believe in God in a world where that happens? So it was the perfect insult to my injury. <laughs> And I didn't get a cookie, and I was just sitting there in pain, like, and I'm like, I still have to bring this laundry and groceries inside. Yeah. So I, I got up, I limped or, limped in, got everything in, put everything up, and then I just got in there and put the uh, bag of frozen vegetables on my... Uh, on your foot? Yeah. And then I just elevated it and yeah. had, had the rest of my Monday evening, and then I went to the doctor's uh, on Tuesday. Yeah. To, uh, to, to have get it checked it. out to make sure it wasn't broken. Right. And it was, in fact, just a sprain. Just so a they sprain. gave me a boot. Gave you a nice I have over boot. there. I've been wearing that a bunch. And Do you got to return those? I don't think so. Yeah. Interesting. You could start making an Iron Man costume with that. Yeah, it is pretty crazy. It I mean. is pretty crazy. You just need, you know, duplicate that, you know. Get a 3D printer, get a, get a, get a, you know what I'm saying. I know a guy that, uh, that works with 3D printers. Really? 
Oh, what did I see? Oh, Jurassic Park 3. Jurassic World? Jurassic Park 3. Oh, the no, third one. The, the, um, for yeah, whatever reason... World is four, technically. Yeah. For whatever reason, uh, I forget which channel it is, last weekend, um, and a lot lately, has been playing Jurassic Park back-to-back back with Jurassic Park 3. No two in the middle, just Jurassic they Park. They didn't Jurassic want the Park gymnastics 3. part where he, where the girl kicks the raptor Apparently through the not. thing? No, no. Uh, they cut you from the team? <laughs> um, and they have, I think, a 3D printer in that, in, in Jurassic Park 3. There's a scene in which um, the... Uh, there's a scene in which... What's his name? What's his name? Not Sam Elliott? Sam, yeah, Sam... Or, uh, not no, Elliot, Sam, Sam Neill. Neil. Sam Neill comes back to his uh, lab on site, wherever they're doing their dig, and his uh, his younger colleague has 3D printed a um, dinosaur. Uh, no, a, a, well, that'd be cool. A Velociraptor's um, like penis. That's it. That's it. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> no, a Velociraptor. Oh, my like Velociraptor the, 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 the... <laughs> dong. I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot about that. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in the other room now for a few seconds, uh, and uh, and and I'm gonna cry about the fact that my girlfriend is now with this other guy, and they have a kid. And uh, I'm going to go in here with the Velociraptor dong and uh, and have myself a good old time. No, it was the Velociraptor's uh, whatever it uses to make noise, like the the e- not echo chamber, but the the whatever it would have made to, used to make noise. Mouth. And they used no, it was like the cha- <laughs> whatever. It was a three. <laughs> That's a 3D, what I used to make noise. A three D. Also my butt. <laughs> also your butt. Three D fucking printer. That's that was the point. That was the point. Spared no expense. <laughs> So, all right, now we're back to tonight. Like, so we, we the reason we went back to, to the first, past. The, the reason that we went back to, to you play the shitty your, games that suck ass, your, your ankle, and then, uh, and then, and then went back even further to the wedding was because I was saying the reason that we're recording tonight early, although you, as you, as you pointed out, this is not any earlier than normal, is that you have, you have a concert to go to. Despite the, despite the hurt ankle, you're going to a concert. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to put my boot on and, mm-hmm. uh, and truck around. And These boots were made for walking. Yeah, well, it is a, it's called a walking boot, so mm-hmm. yes, that's the Nancy purpose. Nancy Sinatra. Of, so when you, uh, when you do sprain the future, your ankle. Or, getting all Nostradamus up in here. So Nancy yeah, Sinatra. I have that so I can walk around, and hopefully there'll be a place to sit mm. uh, at the venue. I don't know if uh, if Dan or John wants to like sit down; they can get close to the stage. But I might right. hang in the back and watch the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's the what? What's the venue? Paradise. Paradise. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, wait. No, I'm thinking of a different uh, different bar. I don't know if I don't know if I've seen. I must have seen something at the Paradise. I haven't point, seen something but... at the Paradise since, since the '90s. So I, I, maybe I haven't. I, I saw a lot of stuff. At I think the, I saw the insane clown posse at the Paradise. <laughs> ICP baby. Any, I, there was, any, any there was juggalos a, in there? There was a summer. Yeah. And where I'm, you I'm, not, I'm sort of sort of ashamed, but sort of like not ashamed to admit that I, I was into ICP for about a year. Yeah, yeah. Were you a full on juggalo? No. No. Okay. I didn't put on the makeup. On the makeup. I, I would never have gone to the gathering because I probably would have gotten like beat up or raped there. <laughs> But who are you going to see tonight? I'm going to see not not Ween as as a total band, mm. but Dean Ween and his and his Dean Ween band. Okay, all right. So basically, what he like what or from what I understand, he's going to be playing a bunch of Ween tunes and a mm-hmm. couple of covers of some classic rock stuff. Oh, nice. And whatever. How did how did you get into Ween? Because I've heard you mention Ween. Uh, over the years, I don't know that we've talked about it on the show. And, I don't and think we have, which is weird. It, which is very weird. We talk about a lot of like strip clubs a billion <laughs> times, but we've never talked about one of my never favorite bands. About, about one of your favorite bands, I, which it, yeah, I mean, that's why there's a there's a year two and a year three or however yeah, like, however long know, we hey, go. Year two is is. is uh, because we really have barely scratched the surface of some of the stuff that's most important. I mean, strip clubs very important yes, to to our, to, to our younger to adult lives. At but, least four or five episodes too. But we need to, as a show, go to a strip club. We sometime. do. We were gonna go before I sold my house. We were gonna do. We were gonna go to that uh, that one down the street from my old. See what uh, I did. We're talking about strip house. clubs again. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Yes, we need to go. Um, one, I of these, one, of, one of these days, maybe. One yeah. of these days. Should we eat? And here's the here's the topic. Like Not not Max 2's, not the one in Bill Rick. Oh, come on. Like, there's that, no liquor there. I know there's no liquor there, but that would what be What, do you want to go to the Wulun Ming? We're getting really <laughs> local. <laughs> but, but going to Max 2 and, and going there, despite there being no liquor, would be an interesting experience because, like, isn't the whole point that you you kind of you kind of drink? As, well, you still have well. to. Dr- you, I think you have like you have. It's to like have a two drink minimum. You yeah, got to buy like, you have to buy like soda. seven dollar sodas. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I, if I'm going to buy a seven dollar drink, I want there to be some alcohol. In you get some alcohol in it. Yeah. Um, well, we'll have to figure out which one, but but uh, chances are none of them will be playing Ween for no, the dancers. That would be amazing. Ama- I would I, I would have had so much of a boner <laughs> if I had ever seen a stripper dance, dance to, to a Ween, Ween song. Yeah. Uh, Got to find that girl. There, there, there. I mean, it's probably a very small cross section of of strippers who are Ween fans, but that I, I, I yeah, I don't think so. The, she's out there somewhere. I'm saying. I, just, saying, I think. I, well, even if there was mm. a, a, a girl that was into Ween, and they're like, "Oh, I need to dance to a Ween song." Mm. Aside from "Let Me Lick Your Pussy," I don't. <laughs> I can't really think of one that would really work. That would work for uh, yeah. Because I mean, and that song is like eight minutes long. Yeah, DJs can do crazy stuff with shortening things. Yeah, I guess, but mm. but it's it's it, but like I don't know. I I think that's that's that sends off the wrong message. Is it let me lick or let me eat? Lick. Let me lick your pussy. Yeah, I mean that does send off the wrong message. Yeah, I mean if like, you're if you're just gonna lick, I mean no come no no on. no, it sends off the come wrong on. message in the strip club because go, you're not supposed go to, to town, be touching guys. a person. I mean, not at a strip club, but yeah. but just in general, as a general thing. Like, but I think it just sends the wrong message to desperate guys that are like, "Oh, she's dancing to this song. It's about licking pussy. Maybe mm. I should just do that." right Maybe now. Maybe I should do that right now. Here, I should. what? Not to get horribly off topic, but I've been reading this book. Um, I think. It, I mean, it, it's something that I don't think you should be stopped from doing by dancing to this Ween song. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's advisable. To Probably do so. don't do, don't dance to "Let Me Lick Your Pussy" by Ween. Um, reading this book, and uh, it's called "Dirty Love." It's by Andre the Beast the Third. Give me your dirty love. Yes, that was the Frank Zappa song. Um, the the lot of sex in the book. Um, a lot of uh, male centric sex. A lot of um, a lot of uh, male centric, guy... as in guy on guy, or just no, a, no, just, just from like a male point of view, male point of view, or or, or women uh, motivated to do things to please the dude in the story, or or what. And, and... So life, like life, should be. <laughs> See, that was a joke. Take it easy, everybody. <laughs> And what it what it made me think of is, uh, and I'll get off this tangent really quick because I know there aren't uh, as many uh, short story or, or fiction uh, geeks out there in the audience as, as, as much as me. But hey, man, you never know. You never know. Um, it really made me think about the fact that in in fiction we see ve- we see a lot of blowjobs, but we see very little uh, licking of, of the of the pussy. Well, there, uh, there of, was of, a of, uh, no very little um, cunnilingus. There was there was a documentary uh, a number of years ago, and in fact, I think it was the first thing that Netflix mm. ever produced. And I'm giving them a plug, but whatever yeah. it was, uh, I forget what it was exactly called, but it was about the rating system. Mm. So, like, I mean, obviously, you can't show uh, a blowjob on right. like an R-rated movie or right. an NC-17 ra- rated movie. Yeah. In fact, you're not even supposed to show a turgid. Turgid is hard, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, turgid is hard and flaccid is right. Soft. Yes, yes, go. yes. Turd, you don't, you don't want to. You, yes, 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 yes. Can I say oh my yes? God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Can yeah. I say yes anymore? Oh my god, I love a turgid cock. Um, but you can't show like a hard cock on in a movie or anything like that. I think it has to be flaccid if you're going to show a penis. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Uh, but the so the, I, I think the people that rate the movies mm. were not okay with um, Cunnilingus or whatever. And so yeah. if, if something like that was happening in a movie, they would give it an NC-17 mm-hmm. rating as opposed to like, you know, the insinuation of a blowjob, which right. would be, which would probably garner an R rating. An and R. then like the, basically the movie is, is, is just kind of like trying to get to the, to the, 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 who are these people that are rating these movies? Right, right. And why do we, and like the filmmakers that are like, hey, what the fuck are we supposed to yeah. do here? 
And like, you know, if you're an independent filmmaker, it's a lot harder to do that. But if you're right. like a, a, you have a studio behind you, it's easier to, to get feedback. But yeah. like, you know, it was, it's really interesting. Find it. So, I'm sure you'll put, put it, it in, the in the show notes. Uh, what, one of the, uh, for whatever reason, the one instance that, that can, so that's why that's, I think, I think that's partially at least in at media least in why film. We yeah, why to, we, but, we, but we, it why doesn't explain why in, in fiction where there no, there aren't sense. Well, maybe not the fiction that you're reading. Damn yeah. it. Okay. Um, in terms of movies, <laughs> the the one scene that comes to mind, and now I'm trying to know if trying to figure out if it was in the the unrated version or if it was in the rated version, is uh, the original American Pie. There is oh, the him, scene him humping where he, the pie. No, no, <laughs> there is that scene. No, the um, in terms of Conolingus, the part where uh, what the hell is his name? Thomas. The, See Thomas Howell. <laughs> no, the the um, Andy the, Dick, the, the one who was with Tara Reed. Uh, the guy is going down on on okay. Tara Reed, and you actually do see him. And she was like, "Oh no, I'm being eaten by a Sharknado." <laughs> <laughs> Might have been more pleasurable than being eaten by uh, the guy she was. Uh, but he had a book. He had a book. He was consulting. That was the plot point of the of the thing. And I forget what angle it was shot from, um, but. It definitely seemed like you could. Uh, th- there was the there was an insin- insinuation of uh, of him eating her out. And, but and the, I just but think the thing is like I don't yeah. So there, there's one. I, there's but, you but in the media. Going, going back to the fiction part, like I just think it would be really. I'm always interested in seeing things, especially as a teacher, that people haven't done a ton of, and and I have not that I can think of read a ton of scenes about what it would be, what it was like for a guy the first time he went down on someone. There's a I, lot I don't, of I don't remember it being fantastic. I don't. Well, I don't think the first time you do anything is. But I is think fantastic. that like that, it was it was it was no 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 wait no it was fine yeah I don't know I'm yeah, thinking of, yeah, yeah I'm I'm thinking I'm just of, like wait a minute no it was it was <laughs> the the scene that I just read. Uh, within the last day or so, it was not a traumatic uh, uh, fellatio scene, but the, the the girl did it to not be a mouth virgin anymore. In the in in her term. is that a thing? It is apparently a thing. The, the girl is uh, eighteen now in the present day, and and I think mouth virgin is a is a thing. All right, for for what it's worth. Um, but it, it made it it got me thinking. Are you a mouth virgin? Am Chris? I a mouth virgin? <laughs> Uh, it depends on what you're what you're talking about. I mean, it, about. it doesn't matter. Have I put a penis in my mouth? No. Okay, good. Well, not, <laughs> not good. I mean, if it's, that's it's that's what you like, but you know. No, I have never put a dick. In but my but mouth. I don't imagine your wife would be very happy if you were putting penis in your mouth. I mean, if I had done it before we got together, I don't think she would have cared. Yeah, but after after yes, no no dicks no so dicks yeah, in my it's mouth. It's good that you're not sucking cock. Then. It's good that I'm not sucking cock unless um, that's what you want to do. But that you should communicate that with your wife. I should. I should. I should. I should. Ween has one song, which we've identified. Oh yeah, um, but 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 <laughs> we're 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 almost 40, done. We're at forty seven uh, forty here, and and, and we've I gotten have, so horribly off topic that we, we don't even know how to get back on. No, no, no. We're back to Ween. I mean, so so Ween and and how you got into them. Okay, so I think um, the first time I saw them was on Beavis and Butthead, mm, which is okay. how I saw a lot of different bands. Yeah. like. Like the first time I saw the Dead Milkman was on, mm-hmm. uh, on Beavis and Butthead, and, and, and I'm going to see them in October. Yeah, uh, then, Beavis and Butthead. No, uh, Dead Milkman. <laughs> Dead Milkman. Uh, and there, yeah, and, and Ween. I, I think it was uh, the Push a Little Daisies video. They did. They were on. They were on there twice. It was Push mm-hmm. a Little Daisies, and I think um, Freedom of '76. Okay. Uh, Bush Little Daisies, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And then the Beavis is singing along. And Bush Little Daisy, make them come up. And it was, <laughs> it was good. It was, yeah. And I'm like, I like these guys. And then I think uh, uh, Will was uh, Will was definitely way more hip as far mm. as the, the stuff that he was into. And I think he, he had bought one of the CDs. And I listened to it. And I'm like, that's great. I need yeah. to have that. And so I bought all of their records and then we went to see them a couple of times. There was one time that was actually Dan, Will and I were going to go to see them when uh, their fifth album came out was a country album. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I remember when Will picked it up, we were listening to it. He's and we're he's like changing through the the CD tracks, and he's like, "Yeah, it's country. It's all fucking country." And I remember him <laughs> throwing the CD 
<laughs> and like the case breaking apart. <laughs> <laughs> and like now, like at that, you know, at first we were just because being guys that are like into alt rock in the 90s, right. we can't like country. No, not but at all. like now, like looking back, that's. That's a great al- that's a great album. Yeah. It has a lot of really fun songs. They got a like a bunch of great musicians to mm. help them make that album. Yeah. And it's it's just like it's really <laughs> some like heartfelt country tunes with weirdo ween lyrics in right. it. Yeah, yeah. Um see country done well. Yeah, I absolutely think it country is, it done is, well. It is done well. If it but it it you're um, right there. You yeah, sprain your I, I, I sprained my ass um, um, sitting uh, sitting in the chair. On these amazingly nice <laughs> chairs. Um, no, country done well is great. But here, here's the thing: Have you noticed you, back in the day? What was your station of choice? Um, well, I uh, I would some music for music. I mean, like we, I would listen to uh, AAF sometimes. Mm-hmm. But then, like, when it would be too, like, I, I like some hard metal and, right. and some rock. But AAF but can it, get like, aggro. They, they, they would sometimes play these weird local bands that I had no interest right, in listening right. to. I mean, no no insult to weird local bands, and I hope you all succeed. But sometimes, yeah. you know, I don't like your music, and I don't want to hear it on the radio. Yeah. Uh, I would listen to WBCN, mm-hmm. like, usually for listening to, like, Howard Stern. Right. And back, th- back in those days, uh, uh, early on, he, I think Mark Perenno was mm. on in the mornings. Yep. He also, uh, allegedly, I don't know if this is true, but like he moved to a different market and he was like giving kids playstations allegedly <laughs> to, uh, to have some uh, hanky panky. And the yeah. thing is he came to, to Chelmsford high. I heard that. Yeah. And like we, as the, the new sweethearts of course were there. Like he was like, there's this radio guy. Let's give him our tape. Right. So yeah. we, gave, we gave Mark Perenno, <laughs> I think the first new sweethearts album with yeah. the hopes that he might play that some might of it play on the air. Some of it, yeah. But I think, uh, we listened to it that afternoon. Oh wait, was he on in the afternoons at that time? I don't even know. Yeah. But he, we were listening that afternoon and then he was just like, oh, and then some, we talked to some kids at some high school. <laughs> right, like, right, yeah. That's, that's the that's, that's as got. far as he got. He probably chucked that out the window <laughs> as fast window, as he yeah. possibly could. Um, but, uh, oh, yeah, uh, what else? And uh, Evan X. Evan X. So that's the, Evan X is the reason I ask. So getting back to the, the good country thing, I have noticed ads, uh, particularly around Boston, but, but also elsewhere, for 101.7, The Bull. Now, now, 101.7 used to be uh, WFNX, and that was the, the alt-rock station. or the, Not not even alt-rock, but it was alterna- al- alternative. It was alternative, alternative station, yeah. Um, a station here in Boston. And now, uh, that that uh, went out of business, I forget how many years ago now at this point, but it is now 101.7, The Bull, Boston's mm. New Country. Oh, boo. And, 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 and I was just like, how many, you know. There's a lot of, of country all, stations now, and I don't understand why. Because that is that is what people, people that listen to the radio people who are listening to. listen to the radio actually listen to. Okay. Right? I mean, and at that or AAF. Like I think those are the different. The AF still exists, which is good. Those are the. And I occasionally do listen, and it's fine. And it, well, the thing is, like what AF I mean, does now. And there's like jamming, and like there's always a hip hop station too. Yeah, but, but and th- there was for a long time a lot of talk stations. Yeah, yeah. But then, like you know, people get in trouble for saying things that I joked about before. Right. Yeah, and, and they go and they do podcasts. Yeah, instead. And they, <laughs> that's why. That's why I never got into radio, even though I wanted to. Right. Because I probably would have like instantly been fired. Yeah, the FCC gets down on you. And, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not even saying like curse words. I mean, like saying a joke that is right. in bad taste, but is not necessarily against. It's not the FCC that's the problem. It's the it's station. The, people. It's the station and the advertisers, the advertisers. and 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 nowadays bloggers. Bloggers. And like you, you, you write a blog in. But the thing is, like a lot of times when I say the word bloggers, there's a mm. lot of contempt in the back of my head. Oh yeah, well, I, I for sure, you know, I, I hesitate to even call my website a blog because I mostly post fiction there. But um, I just stuck with blog finally after calling it many things after many years because blog is a four letter word. Uh, it makes the URLs shorter because it's slash blog, and everyone knows at this point what a blog is. It's a, a reverse chronological. Uh, thingy thingy of of stuff that you post to your website 
Um, so we're at uh, 54 minutes. I don't know if there's any any time for any more ween or if we should... Uh, oh, well, next week I can tell you how the how show it was. Yes. How about that? We can talk about ween next time. We can talk about ween next Tune time. Tune in next time for more ween. We can try next time to talk about Wet Hot American Summer on TV because you've seen it. I have not. Yes. Um, well, it's not on TV. Not on TV. On, the, the, it's the, on... The streaming video service that I mentioned earlier. That you mentioned earlier. Um, I'm, not only, giving them, they, I'm not giving them two plugs. Yeah, they only get one free plug per 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 per, per, per show. Um, <laughs> we mentioned our first donation. Um, I, I, the one other thing that I do want to mention before we're we're done. Oh, um, wait, oh just send us an email if you like hearing me eat apples, or if you yes. if you want me to try eating something else on the show. Mm. I do have some carrots, and uh, I could, you're not going to eat pussy on the show. No. <laughs> okay. Or lick it. No. <laughs> no. Assholes? No. Just apples. <laughs> Do you like <laughs> apples? How do you like them apples? See, that, that was assumed. <laughs> that, was, that was assumed. I ruined a joke. Yep. Um, who, who saw this coming? Holy artist. Stop it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! You almost got Arnold there for a second. That was what I was going for. Um, so, here's the thing: I got this a couple couple weeks ago uh, in the mail. I got some mail. We got. See, sometimes if, if you if you know me and you have my number, yeah. you can ask for Chris's address and sometimes send him weird things. You can <laughs> and so I got mail. It was uh, it was how long had I been? was within the first couple weeks that I was at my, my new address. So I was like, Oh wow. How does somebody, and it's handwritten. Yeah. Handwritten. Um, there's not a name on it, but there is a return address, which I, I will not give. Um, but I, I, <laughs> That's recognize, very nice of you. <laughs> I recognize the city. I was like, I know, do I know anybody in that city? And I tried to think of, and, and do I know anybody in that city that would, that would already have my new address? And I and- opened it up. <laughs> Stop it. And and inside, there there was not not a letter, not uh, uh, not a dollar bill. Um, there was a sticker, and it did make me laugh. Uh, <laughs> so it was, it was worth more than a dollar bill, um, or or a piece of paper, uh, or yeah, nothing else in there. Um, I like how the stamp is. Uh, oh well, you can you can tell us what it is, and I'll, I can talk the, about the stamp. The sticker says "Return to Sender" in very big letters. And then in very small letters, Dick Vatten. Dick, Dick Vatten. Vatten. Dick Van Patten. I fell into the Dick Van. <laughs> Dick Van Patten is. And then uh, in bigger letters than that, but not as big as the first line, not at this address. So return to sender, Dick Van Patten is not at this address. You should make that. We should, uh, we should have those made in... We should, this should be our shirt. Yeah, no. Because then no one will know what it is. <laughs> know what it is. Oh, um, but like the stamp on here is a Harvey Milk stamp, which is pretty cool. That is a, that is a pretty cool stamp. I want to recruit you. Want to recruit me for what, Steve? For being gay. <laughs> for eating assholes. That's not... I mean apples. I. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm always good for healthy snacks. Healthy... <laughs> And not assholes. <laughs> hey, you know, a well-cleaned asshole. A well-cleaned it's asshole. It's not a snack. You're not eating it's, it. You, it's, it's, it. You know, you're probably getting a little bit of some skin cells and, and some whatever. You know, maybe getting Fucking a little bit of hair. gross. <laughs> Stop it. Definitely in the heat not, of the moment, I can understand. It's definitely not moist down there unless you add something in there. And it definitely does not taste like a cookie unless you, you get I some. I want a some cookie gel. now because I, I still haven't gotten one. <laughs> you haven't gotten one. I was I went to the other, the bar, market basket. In oh, right. Because your cookie fell down the stairs. I went to the market basket in in, in Billerica on, mm-hmm. on Tuesday because I was waiting for my, my doctor's appointment. Yeah. After work. And they didn't have any. No fucking cookies. I was so fucking upset. Oh my god. So <laughs> I I I've been watching what I eat, but my daughter's split a cookie today uh, at the. Was Quiznos. it a black and white cookie? It was not. It was not a black and white cookie. No, that would have been good. Though, racial that, equality cookie. Racial. No, no. I just I've been watching a lot of Seinfeld. <laughs> um, they uh, they split the cookie, but but Melody, my younger daughter, didn't did not eat all of hers, and I saw the cookie and I couldn't resist. So I was like, I'm I'm eating that fucking cookie. What kind of cookie a, was it? It's a chocolate chip cookie from Quiznos. Pretty damn good. They make cookies at Quiznos. <laughs> it's like the dessert. You know, they got like a they got a they got. Oh a yeah, few. Subway has cookies too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has cookies. Well, Where's not everybody. Quiznos. 
Uh, there's, you know, there used to be a ton, and now uh, the closest one is mm-mm, in mm-mm, mm-mm, cookies. Yeah, closest one is in Nashua, downtown Nashua. Um, and I'm glad that one is still there because I, I do like Quiznos. I like it a lot. Yeah, because they toast the subs as opposed to. Oh wait. Let's do some plugs. Sure. Um, <laughs> you can find me on the interwebs uh, at ECC1977 on Twitter and at ClarkWiz.com, of course. Uh, and you can words. find me on Twitter at Tuesday is Loser. That's Tuesday IS Loser. All one word. All one word. You can send us both an email or one of us an email or either of us an email or none of us an email. To hot at clarkwoods.com. You could just send us an email that you could forward. No, don't forward us weird emails. <laughs> that would be a thing. <laughs> forward us your, your worst spam and I we'll don't read, want, it on, no. read it on the show. Don't, I, you should edit, totally edit that part out because I do not want people to do that. Um, and of course, you can find the show notes for this episode at clarkwoods.com slash hot slash 54. Yeah. 5 4. I think I say yeah every time you do that. Yeah. 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 So you're going to go see Ween. I'm going to go home. And eat some uh, some jitsa. I mean pizza. Jitsa. Is that Derek Jeter's pizza? No, it's not as jizz either. Gross. <laughs> <laughs>